Should you get the latest i7 10750H inside of the Lenovo Legion 5, or go with a new kit on the block, the Ryzen 7 4800H inside of the Asus Tough A15? Two very similar laptops in build and aesthetic, but differing in performance. Let's get rocking! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, if you're curious about more in-depth specs or the exact pricing of either of these laptops as we're going through the video, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Also, if you're interested in a discount on the Asus Tough A15, you can head on over to Computer Upgrade Kings and use the discount code Ben3 to get a discount on that laptop or any other laptop on Computer Upgrade King's website. All right, let's dive into the video. As always, let's start off with the build quality and usability of these two laptops. Upon pulling each of them out of the box, I must say that they share the same subtle design aesthetics rare to the flashy gaming laptops that we are all so used to. The Asus Tough A15 toting the military vibes while the Lenovo Legion has more of a minimalist look going on. The Asus Tough A15 does come with a aluminum top cover, whereas the Lenovo Legion does not. Otherwise, they both have all plastic builds. Both have easy to open lids that can be performed with one hand, but I will say that the Lenovo Legion 5 has a little more wobble and screen flex than the Asus Tough A15. So I'll give the award for the hinge and screen assembly to the A15. Opening the lid, I felt like I was greeted by the exact same screen. However, the A15 has a slightly larger bottom bezel compared to the Legion. Both come with 720p webcams along the top bezel, but one thing I like about the Legion is the manual camera cover to keep you from getting spied on if you are concerned about that sort of thing. Both come with 15.6 inch Full HD matte displays with the Lenovo reaching 315 nits of brightness and a 60 hertz refresh rate, whereas the A15 reaches only 275 nits of brightness with a refresh rate of 144 hertz. If you are a gamer, then the A15 is going to be the pick for you, but that higher screen refresh rate. Unfortunately, both screens are disappointing as far as color accuracy is concerned. The A15 can reach a color gamut range of 66% sRGB, 49% Adobe RGB, and 49% DCI-P3. And the Legion 5i can reach a color gamut range of 62% sRGB, 46% Adobe RGB, and 46% DCI-P3. So for how much hate the A15 was getting a few weeks ago when it first launched, the Lenovo actually has less color accuracy in the screen. But if you're a video editor, designer, or photographer, don't let that scare you away. These are two great laptops, and once we get into the benchmarks, you will see that. If you're looking for color accuracy, I would suggest complementing this laptop with an external monitor like Acer's 100% Adobe RGB Color Accurate Concept DCM2. I will link it down in the description below for you to check out. The dual screen setup will also give you more room to work on projects, which can improve your workflow. Both laptops have nearly identical keyboard layouts. I was shocked to see this. Even the way that the arrow keys are set slightly lower than the rest of the keyboard, it's, it's exactly the same. Both have nice firm key press. That is the perfect mixture of firmness and sponginess. My preferences though lean towards the Lenovo Legion 5i because it is slightly quieter than the A15. Both trackpads are responsive and have great click and touch gestures. As a designer or video editor using this computer, I would lean toward the A15 as I like the dedicated right and left click buttons. Sometimes when the click is on the actual trackpad, it causes errors when conducting a click and drag attempt uh, on the actual trackpad, for instance, on the Legion 5i. The Legion 5i weighs in at 5.1 pounds and is slightly thinner than one inch at 0.93. The A15 is slightly thicker and heavier at 5.7 pounds with a thickness of 0.98 inches. If battery life is important to you, I would lean towards the A15 with its 90 watt hour battery. You will get roughly six hours of web browsing battery life and about two and a half to three hours of design, photography, and video editing tasks. The Lenovo Legion 5i has a slightly smaller 80 watt battery. You can expect about five hours, maybe six hours of battery life for web browsing. But if you're a serious creator, you're going to burn through the battery rather quickly. 
With a full battery, I conducted some edits to a video and then set it to export. This battery lasted about an hour and 47 minutes. I was pushing this laptop pretty hard. So if you're a graphic designer, you may be able to get two and a half to three hours out of the battery, um, but I would not guarantee it. Okay, so now we're pulling up the ports on the screen, and as always, the ports are something that I consider very personal. I like a certain selection of ports, but other people might like a different selection. So think about your workflow, think about your use case. What do you need the ports for? Don't be swayed by the latest high-tech you know, ports, unless you need them. Uh, make sure it's what you need for your workflow. All right, now that we have worked through the build and usability, let's talk about the performance. The Lenovo Legion 5i model I'm reviewing comes with the 10th gen Core i7-10750H, a six core 12 thread processor. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti with six gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, eight gigs of DDR4 clocked at 2,933 megahertz in a single slot, and that is only upgradable to 16 gigs of RAM per the Lenovo website. My storage is also 512 gigs of M.2 SSD. Lenovo did a great job on venting this laptop. There are a total of five vents, two side vents, two rear vents, and one large vent along the bottom of the laptop. I will discuss this more during the thermal benchmarks after we dive into the performance tests. The Asus Tough A15 that I'm reviewing comes with the latest AMD Ryzen 7 4800H, which is a eight core 16 thread processor, making this laptop great for multitasking. Comes with the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti with six gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. This has a 512 gig SATA SSD with a second SSD M.2 slot open for expansion. Yes, I know that the RAM is massively different and I will talk about some of the differences and what to expect in these two laptops if both were met in the middle with 16 gigs of RAM. These are the models I was sent from Asus and Lenovo. I had no control over what I got. And per the reviewer agreement, I am not approved to swap out the RAM to even out these computers. So I'm doing my best with what I have here in the studio. Starting now off with the CPU and GPU test, the Asus Tough A15 got a Geekbench single core score of 1,000 185, whereas the Lenovo Legion got a Geekbench single core score of 1,192. So we're seeing a slightly better score from the Lenovo Legion 5i for single core. However, it is a totally different score in multi-core with 8,210 coming from the Asus Tough A15 and the Legion 5i getting a score of 4,506. Those extra cores definitely do something with the multi-core performance. And if you're looking for a great multitasking CPU, then the Ryzen 7 4800H is gonna be your pick inside of the Asus Tough A15. Photoshop is the most intensive program for designers. So I use Puget Systems Photoshop benchmarking tool to gauge how well this laptop will handle graphic design, photography, and artist workflows. The Lenovo performs well in all categories, but I will say it is substantially lower than I expected. By observing the component usage, you can see that it is using up almost every bit of RAM during the benchmark tests. If you're gonna buy this laptop for Photoshop, I would recommend upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs. If that puts you out of your price range, then I would maybe consider getting the Intel Core i5 version with 16 gigs of RAM. That should even out the price for you. I will link the i5 version in the description below as well, where you can check out the pricing of that laptop. The Asus A15 with its massive 32 gigs of RAM handles Photoshop very well and on nearly every test, plus an overall Pugic benchmark score. The Lenovo Legion 5 I comes in at a 539 and the tough A15 comes at 759. Like I said though, if this laptop were to be at 16 gigs of RAM, I think we would see at least a 600 plus Puget score. But unfortunately, like I said, I was unable to get that test result. If considering either of these models for After Effects rendering, the A15 takes the cake here as well. The eight core and 16 thread processor from Ryzen really edges out the six core 12 thread processor from the Legion 5i. The Puget rendering score from the Legion 5i is 430, and the Asus Tough A15 Puget After Effects render score is a 661. Now on to video editing. For this test, I took a 9-minute 4K clip, placed it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, then exported it out of both programs at 4K YouTube settings and 1080p YouTube settings. The Legion 5i Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export took 5 minutes and 13 seconds, the fastest export time I've seen on my channel. Whereas the Tough A15 Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export took 7 minutes and 2 seconds. So we're still seeing a little bit faster performance out of the Intel processors. The Legion 5i Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p export took 4 minutes and 40 seconds, 
and the Tough A15 Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p export took 3 minutes and 52 seconds. So we're actually seeing a slightly faster export with 1080p coming from the Ryzen processor. The Legion 5i DaVinci Resolve 4K export took 11 minutes and 7 seconds, and the Tough A15 DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export took 6 minutes and 37 seconds. The DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p export from the Legion 5i was 4 minutes and 21 seconds, and from the Tough A15 was 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Now, concerning the DaVinci Resolve export times from the Legion 5i, I ran the test multiple times, switching the GPU encoding settings on and off, and that was testing the best export times I could get. I noticed the RAM was topping out at 95% usage, so I'm guessing that if you want some faster times out of DaVinci Resolve, 16 gigs of RAM would help you out a lot. I also ran a rendering test in Premiere Pro. The Legion 5i can render out 7,240 frames in 5 minutes and 2 seconds, and the A15 can do that same render in 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Now for the noise tests. At idle, both laptops ran at around 30 to 35 decibels. During the 4K export and rendering, the fan noise jumped up to 52 decibels for the Legion 5i while on the charger, and it stayed at or below 40 decibels while on battery power. During the 4K export and rendering for the Tough A15, the fan noise reached upwards of 61 decibels, so substantially louder than the Legion 5i. Now, something a lot of people have been curious about, how are the thermals? Running at idle, both laptops sit at around 30 to 38 degrees Celsius. But during the Photoshop benchmark test, the Legion 5i averaged around 52 degrees Celsius, and the A15 was around 58 degrees Celsius. On the 4K export, and rendering, the Legion 5i saw as high as 82 degrees Celsius, then stabilizing at around 65 degrees Celsius. During the rendering and 4K export, the A15 shot up to 90 degrees Celsius and then stabilized at around 72 degrees Celsius. The Legion 5i is definitely the cooler, temperature-wise, machine by a whole 10 degrees Celsius at its stable point. If you're looking for a laptop that runs cool, has one of the best export times out of Premiere Pro that I have ever witnessed on my channel, and would be even more impressive with a bump up to 16 gigs of RAM, I would definitely consider the Lenovo Legion 5i. However, if you're looking for a laptop that is slightly more affordable, has an aluminum top cover, performs very well in Photoshop, has great performance in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, and totes a solid multitasking CPU, the Ryzen 7 4800H, then I would consider the Asus Tough a15. If you're curious about more in-depth specs or the exact pricing of either of these models, you can head down in the description below and click on one of those links. And as always, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you here in the next video.